We are less than two weeks away from Halloween, and if you bought a costume, there's now an eco-friendly way to dispose of it after Spooky Day. Our first warning meteorologist, Glenn Glazer, <laughs> joining us now live from Boynton Beach with more on this project, which is geared to help the environment. We love to hear that, Glenn. It really is. I can tell you, uh, my wife is super organized all the time, and she starts looking for Halloween costumes, usually in August, and they were so expensive this year. Every, I feel like every year they get more and more expensive, and I was saying to her, I wish there was a way we could, you know, dress up the kids, dress up the family, but still keep it within our budget. Thank goodness Amelia Williams is here to talk to us more about that. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. So you are the founder of Green Garments, but before we talk about that, I want to talk about Philanthropy Tank. You had this great idea, and you took it to Philanthropy Tank. What is Philanthropy Tank? Because we do a lot of interviews with Philanthropy Tank, but people might not know. So Philanthropy Tank is a wonderful organization. Yeah. They basically help fund and mentor um, student change makers, which is what we're called. Yeah. Um, <laughs> basically students that have a great idea, if they are in need of funding, if they're in need of support, if they just don't know how to go about it, Philanthropy Tank is the place to go. <laughs> and um, their applications for this year's cycle of yeah. next student change makers actually ends on Sunday. Oh. So. Oh, yeah. limited time. So if you're you're a young person, you have a great idea, you present it to Philanthropy Tank, and if they think it's a good idea too, they give you the money to go with it. And that's what happened with Green Garments, right? Yes. Okay, so what is what is Green Garments? As we take a look at some clothing here, we're going to talk about Green Garments. By the way, we're at Goodwill in Boynton Beach, just so everybody knows. Okay, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, so Green Garments is essentially, um, it is an organization that yeah. aims to support uh, secondhand clothing purchase okay. to stop the practice of fashion fashion which is very common amongst teenagers and it contributes to planetary harm and also unethical labor practices okay so you you have some examples of green garments here things that you found that you think people would benefit from but they they're I'm gonna, let me move on the other side of you so you can show them off I like ended up on the wrong side somehow <laughs> all right so show us some of the things that you're talking about here yes yeah, so totally I mean if you are stuck if you're in need of a Halloween costume yeah. you can go to your local thrift store like for example this you could be a cheetah you could be a leopard <laughs> um, something so simple so easy and so cost-effective and good for the planet yeah um, if you go down here you could be like a detective if you pair this with a magnifying glass, with some swanky boots even. That is that is very cool. Well, we, we have another, we're going to talk more about Halloween in our next half hour. But you, real quick, Thomas, can we get a, a good shot of Amelia? I want people at home to think about who she may be dressed as for Halloween. And how much, by the way, can I just ask your whole costume, how much, how much that cost? It was probably under $20. Under $20. Yes. Okay. So everybody take a look. Guess what she is? When we come back next half hour, we're going to talk about your big event this weekend, which is called Green Halloween, where people can come in and you can actually help them put together a costume. I hate—I don't want to say on the cheap, put together a costume that's inexpensive, yes. but still looks fantastic. Yes, okay. absolutely. I'm very excited about this. So we're live in Boynton Beach. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Coming up next, Green Halloween. Ooh. Wait, did I do that right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Oh, Glenn <laughs> looks like a lot of fun out there. Well, it's almost time to dress up as a superhero, a witch, or maybe even a monster. I always do the easy kitty cat. You know, oh, that's yeah. easy. Put a little ears on, do something like that. But what do you do with a costume that you may never wear again? First warning meteorologist Glenn Glazer joins us now with a solution to that problem. Glenn? You upcycle it. It's a word I just, it's a trendy word that the young people are using that I just learned just now. Look, I found this here at Goodwill in Boynton Beach. I am my New York cousin who always comes to visit me and he's like, hey, we going to the beach or what? And I'm like, no, dude, it's 7.30 in the morning. Go back to bed. Nobody goes to the beach this time. But anyway, let me get back over here to Amelia Williams. Hi. Hi. So we asked people, you're the founder of Green Garments. Yes. You taught me what upcycling means, but can you teach everybody else? I can teach them how to uh, upcycle their own Halloween costumes. Oh, okay. So we asked people before the break who you were. We had some guesses. Who are you for Halloween and stuff? This is stuff that you found here, right? Yes. Okay, who are you? I am Peggy Hill from King of the Hill. Ah, <laughs> and your friend John is here. John, what are you and who are you? Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Monkey D. Luffy from the anime and uh, manga One Piece. 
Okay. Yeah. I need to learn more about anime right now. So this weekend, you have teamed up. That's very cool, though. I saw you showed me a picture. You look just like him. Um, this weekend, you have a, you've teamed up with Goodwill here in Boynton Beach, and you have an event called Green Halloween, where people can come in, and you will basically consult them. You have consultants. You can go through the racks and tell people, here, do this, and you can be this, take this, and you can be this. Can you give us some examples? I'm going to get on the other side of you so yeah. you can show us. So for example, I mean, if you look at this um, mannequin right here, this is perfect for, like, a witch costume, Maleficent. It's amazing what you can do with the thrifted base and then adding accessories, makeup to it, and oh. it's so cheap. Do another one. Do another one. Um, so let's see. Here, this is perfect for, like, Cheshire. Shire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. You oh, can just yeah. wear this shirt, throw on a pair of leggings, some nice boots, call it a costume. This is like an amazing trick. Do another one. Okay, let's see. <laughs> um, here. You could be an athlete. You could just throw on some, like, Jordans, <laughs> some um, sweatpants or uh, gym shorts. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's very cool. And so you're going to have people here. People will come in. They'll say, I really need a Halloween costume. You'll go around. You'll help them pick out. And you guys are even doing alterations if people yes. need them. So if people need to take in the waist, if they need to shorten the straps at all to just fit them better, we'll be able to help them with that. So it's from 1 to 4 p.m. Yes. this Sunday at Goodwill here in Boynton Beach. Yes, absolutely. So just come in. Say, I'm here for green Halloween. Help me pick out a costume. Yes. <laughs> and can people bring their old Halloween costumes too? Of course, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and just kind of donate them and, and up upcycle them. I used it in a sentence. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice to meet you. Thank you for doing this. Don't forget about Philanthropy Tank, which we talked about last half hour. If you want to apply, if you have a great idea and you're hoping that somebody can get you started, make sure you do that. We'll have more information on that on our website. Thank you so much. It was great seeing you. I'm going to learn more about anime, so next time I see you, you're going to be like, oh, all right. And we are in Boynton Beach. Don't forget, this Sunday, 1 to 4 p.m., right here at Goodwill in hey, Boynton Glenn. Beach. Come pick out a Halloween costume. I'll send it back to you, Chris. Hey, Glenn. Glenn, you're yeah. giving me Weekend yeah. at Bernie vibes. Weekend at <laughs> Bernie. <laughs> Remember that Just movie? Like, <laughs> you can operate my strings. I don't know if any of the millennials yeah, know can, about Weekend at Bernie. <laughs> but great ideas, because I'm the type of person that you, you and I have. Sh you and I have shared a joke. Yeah, <laughs> the young kids don't get it. <laughs> they don't get it. All right. Thanks, Glenn. <laughs>